guys. Good morning. Uh, Rob here, Buck Psych. Uh, Nick's not with me today, but uh, he had to work today, so I'm out trying to throw this camera out. But uh, uh, this is where we decided to, to put the camera at, and uh, you got bedding behind you, behind the camera, about probably 150 yards, 200 yards. Is, uh, once a major buck bed in there with multiple beds. Remember, multiple beds. A lot of beds in a small area. And then on the point, there's a, there's a little bedding area too, so it's sort of a double whammy. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna hunt about 100 yards from these beds, within 100 yards. I'm gonna try to get probably 60, 65 yards from the bed as close as I can. Early season probably be the best uh, to get the closest as you know, of course, uh, the foliage goes away, you're going to have to be a little farther so we can't see. Um, but it's the same spot I did the video the other day on when I put the hat in the bed and uh, see how far we can get away from it. So, camera placement. I'm putting a camera about 200 yards from those beds up there. Uh, this is a major intersection. It's along a transition of a marsh here to... Uh, to my right, this side would be a major transition. It's a major bowl going into here. So there is some dough bedding behind. And it's thick if there's, a, there's some dough bedding in here. So along this transition, they're gonna be moving. And uh, there, there's some dough bedding up there too, but uh, most of the doughs bed in here or up in here and it's thick stuff along this transition. This bounces right up in here in this bowl. Uh, the box like the bed up, up in, uh, up just, just almost to the point, and on the point, that's where all the rubs are and all that stuff. So, anyway, you got two major trails coming right here in one, going right that way. You got one coming down in here, crossing here. You got one going up in there. You got one on the left-hand side here, going across the camera, which I think is, is a doze. And hold on, I'll be right back. I'll move the camera and show you. This, this camera set where it's a couple hundred yards from the bedding, but uh, even if this camera does damage and, and, and don't let them, uh, it, which I doubt very much will, uh, it's far enough from them. But, uh, and I got it way up in a tree, as I'll show you in a minute. Um, and it's also infrared and all that happy hoopla. But uh, these, these trails going in here all intersect in the middle, as I'll show you in a minute. But, this is not going to hurt this bedding area. If I get too close with a camera in a bedding area, they're going to they're going to vacate the bedding area. They won't use it anymore because they know they're being hunted or being watched or whatever they think. But uh, you don't want to put these cameras real close or in a bedding area unless you have a cell cam or on your or you're on some cushy private property and uh, you can get that off probably. But any kind of public property. Uh, in my opinion, you're not going to get it off. You're going to, unless it's a cell cam, which you know they're they're so much money. I, I would would feel safe to put a, a, a cell cam out on uh, any public property. Uh, I I'd, I'd just be sick to my stomach if it was stolen. So uh, cell cams, yeah, you can do that, but because uh, guys want to go keep back checking back and forth. This camera here will sit until probably mid-May, uh, maybe late May. Um, I'll come back, change everything, and then uh, check the, check the card. Uh, probably early May, really, a couple, a few months. Uh, I won't disturb anywhere up in there where I'm going to be hunting. It's all a transition area along a transition line and uh, travel routes. And uh, deer in the pub public piece are used to that, so. Keep that in mind. I'll show you how this is set up. All right, I'm behind the camera now, and as you can see, this is a, a big meadow transition marsh. Um, everything runs along it, and it's a huge bowl, which does do not bed in, but they bed in this stuff here. Um, but the does will get out and, and cruise this way. All the food is is over here. It's all. Everything is over here that they want. All the corn feeds, soybeans every year. They switch back and forth soybeans, corn beans, uh, corn and soybeans usually, excuse me. But this is a major trail going in here. It just snowed this morning, so 
it's going in here and I'm going to walk you up and you'll see the intersections and I'll show you where I put the camera and then I'll come back in mid-May and I'll be on there and uh, we'll see uh, us filming being filmed. <laughs> Sit tight. Alright, we're at the camera site and uh, as you can see, the camera's right there on the tree. Um, good setup. Good Browning camera. They're great cameras, man. Browning command, command black, command ops or something like that. But uh, this major trail that I was telling you about comes down here. There's a small trail that I blocked off right here that goes right under the camera. Um, there's a trail that goes in here. Big time trail. You can see it uh, right here. If you can see it correctly and this is where it intersects right here where all my footprints are we're supposed to snow and uh tonight so they'll all be gone as you can see and look at that trail there that's a major major trail there's rubs up in there uh there's doe bedding to the right where that tan grass is it's where the does like to bed um i did not kick anything out of here this morning but it just got done snowing a little bit this morning so this is a good setup it's out of the way uh, I don't think I go two sticks high now and um, uh, two sticks with my cameras you're not going to really notice it if you do uh, that tree there you're going to need climbing sticks to get up there to get it because uh, there's another tree behind it as you can see and uh, it just deters thieves but if you're going to steal something you're going to get it but uh, it is what it is. So that's first. That's my first camera setup for a year. Uh, this year, it's going to be a great spot, I believe. I'll pan around and show you the trails. Here's a trail. The trail coming into it from the bedding. Bedding's all in here. You can see it. You see the trail, and here's another trail going up in there along that edge, and then this splits off this way. And then that way so there's a couple big ones in here uh, decent bucks in here that we got our eyes on and uh, we're uh, we've uh, heard about so we'll see if we can get it get one of them and get some intel on one of them so that's the camera set up right there sorry about the rain guys it's starting to like sleet and rain so and browning browning cameras are phenomenal man they're sensitive but they're they take a beautiful picture so that's it for today boys and uh boys and girls that's it for today and uh i gotta get home go to gym and then uh run kids basketball and stuff so that's it for today man appreciate you watching and as always thanks Subscribe and like to the book site.